Oh, you know, we, we're, we're paying a price for all this beautiful weather that we've had. Uh, we are in a moderate drought in the immediate Champlain Valley, abnormally dry most everywhere else. So again, we could use the rain. We're going to get the rain. Unfortunately, it's going to be here for the second half of the weekend. 74 degrees right now. Now we are picking up a few clouds out there according to our graphics, but I checked out a few moments ago and it's absolutely clear out there. Harvest moon comes up at about 711. Look east, just south of east. It's going to be coming up then and it should be a, a, an incredible sight. Overall, nothing to block the view of that moon because we've got clear skies out there and we're going to keep them clear all night long. As a matter of fact, we're going to keep them sunny to start your uh, Saturday. But then this area of uh, storminess moves in our direction. We've got a complicated frontal boundary that's going to be moving across the area late Saturday into Sunday. We're going to get some showers, maybe even a few rumbles of thunder as we get you into late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. And then this whole system is going to kind of affect us not only Sunday, but probably for the next day or so after that, as we continue to keep clouds and the chance of some showers in the forecast. So overall, that frontal boundary out here is going to be pushing toward the east. Uh, this system is going to be throwing showers out ahead of it. This low is going to intensify. It's going to be bringing some wraparound moisture with it. So overall, it is going to be a showery Sunday for the most part. And then as we get you into Monday, Saturday, Sunday night and Monday, we got another frontal boundary moving in from the west. It doesn't look like much right now, but we may trigger a shower, especially as we get you into Tuesday from this system. And then behind that, we've got high pressure and that's going to dry us out Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So things looking good in the long term. Overall future cast showing really not much going on at, at this point at uh, six o'clock or eight o'clock in the morning. I should say uh, we've got lots of sunshine, but we're starting to pick up the clouds in the western Adirondacks. Those clouds will be on the increase during the afternoon by evening. Maybe a few spotty showers, but the main event holds off until much later Saturday night into early Sunday. Showers, maybe a few thunderstorms on Sunday morning, some showers, and then those showers will continue during the afternoon, especially eastern portions of Vermont, especially uh, down in the vicinity of uh, the Upper Valley, Rutland, Springfield. Uh, you guys will be seeing those showers for the most part. You guys also could use the rain and we will take it from this system. On uh, Monday, we're going to see a, a mainly cloudy uh, day. Uh, we will see a few showers from time to time then and we'll probably continue this pattern right into Tuesday as that next front moves into the area. So overall tonight, mainly clear skies, a little bit of patchy fog out there, but not as cool as it was last night. We're looking for a low down of 54 degrees in the Champlain Valley. We were at 43 early this morning. Tomorrow, a beautiful looking day. 77 for a high in Burlington and in uh, Lebanon as well. 74 degrees in Saranac Lake. We'll start out the day with sunshine. We'll pick up clouds in the afternoon. Some showers late in the day, especially west. And those showers will continue into Saturday night as we uh, move through the evening hours. Overall, though, Sunday, a showery day, but not a total washout. And then Monday, a chance of shower. Tuesday, we approach 80 degrees with just a chance of showers then. Now watch this forecast. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, things looking beautiful. Temperature is in the low 70s, and that's just about where we should be at this time of night. Don't forget, check out the Harvest Moon tonight coming up at about 7-11.